Thank you, Melissa. It's Faith Time, our weekly conversation on matters of faith. Joining me this morning are Madhu Chilakuri and Sati Pucha with the Gulf Coast Hindu Society. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, gentlemen. Thank you. Now, uh, normally we'd plug your place of worship, but your group is still working on getting a regular temple at this time. And this morning we wanted to talk about the Hindu New Year that is coming up on Tuesday. Tell us, what is the Hindu New Year? The, the Hindu New Year is celebrated uh, with uh, gaiety and palm, not on January 1st, but uh, around uh, this time of the year, uh, with, coinciding with the arrival of the spring. It is connected with the nature, you know, the crops are coming up and, and it's uh, uh, used as a time for celebration and it's called uh, Ugadi or um, Baisakhi in different parts of uh, India and the Hindus all over the world celebrate it at this time of the, the year. It's connected with, you know, the, the, uh, it's not like the Gregorian calendar, mm -hmm. but more to do with, you know, the sun and the moon, you know, the... Uh, sort of like a harvest type festival. Yeah, harvest type of thing. Tell us uh, how it is observed, how you guys would be observing it locally. Uh, generally, uh, it's usually planned in advance and a lot of people, they just uh, clean up their houses, they decorate the place with colorful uh, rangoli things, and then they make their special favorite food. Generally, the thing is when all the food items are from what has been harvested in that season. So they have a lot of rice, mango, jaggery, neem leaves is usually the part of this. I love Indian food. Tell me what are some of the traditional dishes that are prepared for the Hindu New Year? One of the special ones is called as the Ugadi Pachadi. They make this from jaggery, neem, uh, um, mango, and all that. So what it signifies is it, just like life has different flavors, you get happiness, sadness, uh, anger, all that. So this one say like we have to be prepared for whatever comes in our life, and we have to face it. With, uh, Talk to us a little bit about how the Hindu faith is tied into this New Year celebration. Uh, just like uh, they say, spring is what is the start of life. So they say the. Brahma, the creator, started the thing, and then... Uh... And, and so you, you, it's a harvest festival, and, and uh, are there special prayers or, or worship services associated with it? Uh, people generally go to the uh, temple that day and seek blessings of the God, and then so that uh, they pray to Lord Ganesha, who is the remover of obstacles, and then they pray to Lord Goddess Lakshmi, who is, provides wealth. So, and then... Uh, this thing is based on the sun moment. So the pray to the Lord's sun because at this time of the year, the sun moves to the east and becomes powerful. And so praying to the sun is a uh, meritorious and sacred thing. So, talk, talk to us a little bit about the basic tenets of Hinduism because this is the first time we've had on this segment a uh, gentleman representing Hinduism. The Hindu concept, uh, it, actually, it also called Sanatana Dharma. It's an eternal order. There is no, uh, there is no single uh, uh, originator for Hinduism. It's a way of life. It's not uh, religion per se, and it's basically based on a concept of karma. Karma means your actions and thoughts. Uh, uh, your your thoughts and actions should be good. Mm -hmm. So a good karma leads to good results, and uh, bad karma leads to bad results. So really, the the basic concept of recognizing the divinity every, in every human being, and practice good karma throughout your life. All right, we well, wish you guys both good karma. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in to discuss the Hindu New Year this morning. And News Five this morning will continue after the break.